Yeah. Back, man. Another episode of Half Hour Black Power. Uh, yeah, it's been, been a long, long, long time. time. Yeah, man. Very inconsistent, but that's that's consistent amongst our uh, race. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Everything we do is consistent amongst the race, so yeah, it's all good. Consistently you know inconsistent. You can count on that. Hey, man. So I, hey, you, know, we, you can count on it not being a half hour. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? It's a few things you can count on. Yeah. We might, we, might, we might not be here next week, but we're here this week. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, uh, real quick, let's just let's touch on some things first before we get into what we're talking about. Um, so... Um, how's everything been going for you with the with the virus and everything that's going on right now? Uh, I ain't going man, right now. Um, believe it or not, man, we we maintaining. You know, we had to we had to slow uh, slow what would have been really productive and kind of I would have been getting into the groove right now. We had to step back just a little bit because everything slowed down. So it's like I'm more in the field, which is good for me because now I'm actually learning how to physically do a lot of the stuff that I. That I uh, kind of coordinate. Yeah, 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 right, right. But I'm now I'm in the trenches, mm-hmm. and I kind of like it, which keeps me out of the sales floor. But I like to be in the sales floor. But I don't mind the trenches <laughs> at all. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's the thing about like having something change us. You get to learn new things and learn how to yeah. maneuver in different situations. And I, always, I think black people in general, but like I know for me, mm-hmm. I love that's like the best part of any bad situation: is maneuvering, mm-hmm. learning something new. That's exactly what I mean. If it happened again, I'm good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm the type of person I'm not gonna fall, but I'm gonna learn what I need to learn. Cause if it happened again, which I always gonna bank on, I wanna know I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Least know now I don't have to go through the steps that I went through to learn how to get to where I'm going. I know exactly what I need to do in this situation. Now so I've taken the time, the quarantine time to kinda like still working. I'm essential than a motherfucker. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out there, I'm going in the field. I'm actually physically getting dirty. I ain't got to iron my clothes in the morning. None of that. I just get up, put on my clothes, go to work, build my appetite, and come home. Yeah, and get paid. you know, well, I, well, you know, you know, I work at. I work as. I don't know. I, I know. No, I commend. Like it, man. No, but I commend everybody up there because right now, y'all niggas making the world go round. It's crazy. Man. Between it's nurses crazy. and retail workers, that's still working. Y'all niggas making the world go round. If y'all were to yeah. say fuck it right now. <laughs> yeah, it's I, and I know it's crazy. Like I know I talked about this in, on another podcast, uh, Fighting Ice. But the only thing I dislike about it is that I feel like it's kind of it put me on the, it put me on the edge. Like how long could we have been doing this? And I, I'm I'm gonna say this. I want to touch on this real quick. And I want to mm. switch the topic. But like the, I know low. Uh, I I'm gonna just say well, work at they pay like two two dollars extra an hour on top of whatever you make. I just got I just got a raise anyway, but two dollars extra on that and they offering uh, overtime. I got to, I had twenty three hours overtime. Never had twenty three hours overtime. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like how long could they have been doing that? How long could they have been paying us? <laughs> I ain't gonna tell, let me tell you how, X, X amount of money let plus me tell two dollars. Now let me piss you off just a little bit more. We've been talking about reparations for how long? And all of a sudden now, y'all got trillions of dollars just I to know. give the motherfuckers? But that's for anything, though. I'm, not, I'm, talking <laughs> about, I'm talking about even, like, companies that's, that's saying, are we going to do this for the homeless or this? They could have been doing that now. That, yeah. that's, that's, that's what it tells me, because it didn't just come out of thin air. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's, that's the only downside to stuff I, I look at. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, if I'm homeless, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm looking at, like, wait, time out. So, you mean, people that got jobs that don't have jobs no more, they get rewarded more money than, and I've been homeless for 10, 12, 30. All right, but to, yeah. so to me, I'm looking like that, but I know it's rules and regulations and all that stuff. So, and some people that's homeless deserve to be homeless. So I'm not gonna sit here and say yeah. that you know that it shouldn't happen for the people that got unemployment. But mm-hmm. when I look back and I see things like that, it, it is kind of well, it, it is kind of messed up sometimes. But yeah, some of it's just I don't want to get too deep into that though. Nah, I ain't gonna go too far into a lot of it. Is just Trump, Trump just um, lying and people eating it up. Cause uh, I ain't watching him in there. That's how I seen Trump. He he, the lady coughed and he moved the way, and that was it. Like man, it, I, I mean, I watch this cat every day. It's like watching the. Uh, I don't know. It's like watching the Truman Show. Trump might be funnier than Kevin Hart, though. I don't know. He might be funnier than Kevin Hart right no, now. That nigga could be a full blown nah, comedian right now. When, he, when she caught that he moved, like it was funny to me. But that's, only, the, clown. that's the only thing. I, I, yeah, <laughs> he's a wild guy, bro. Like <laughs> he don't take nothing. He don't take nothing serious. No. But but honestly, it's real. Um, <sighs> it's real. Uh, it mirrors America. You know what I'm saying? Like you know how they say you only as good as your leader. Them, yeah. Like that's honestly like him being a leader. People we, we can talk about bad about all we want to. But him leading America, it, it, it don't, it don't, it's not a, uh, it's not very opposite of what America is like anyway. And, but now, it's, with but now it's getting a little dumber, cause even <laughs> a little dumb. I mean, now I mean, it's, it's not only getting done for for um our people, it's also getting it's getting done for the whole country. I mean, why you say that? What you mean? No, I mean our people are really acting like right now. Yeah, man. I, no, I'm just saying a lot of a lot of our people right now are ready for this. Uh, kind of get into it for this uplift or whatever right now. This uh, reopening the 
Georgia. This is this is a mistake. Oh, you talking, okay, of, you talking about you talking about camp? Yeah, camp. man. But well, I mean, even the what, United States. What you mean? It's a mistake. Like, what you mean by that? It's well, a mistake. it's a mistake on a bunch of levels. So this is what I want to get into, and I'm a, I'm gonna put this out as a public service announcement. Black people, do not, do not, do not go outside, out into the bars, to the restaurants, to the clubs. I know you want to get your hair cut. Just you're gonna have to chill for a minute because right now. South Carolina and Georgia can really be test dummy states. The reason that these people are protesting and saying we reopen the country all over in Michigan and Wisconsin and Pennsylvania, they all over. If you notice, it's not black folks out there. But do you notice that once they really started saying, well, blacks are a lot more susceptible to this because of pre existing conditions that we have as a people? High <laughs> blood pressure. Oh, okay, okay. No, yeah, pre existing conditions, high blood pressure, diabetes. When they started saying, yeah, when black folks get it, they're more prone to get sick and die. All of a sudden, it was like, okay, let's reopen the country now. And then the beaches opened up. So one guy was sitting there saying at the rally, we need to spread the disease so we can build an immunity to it. How are we going to be a country? So, but I, I heard something about that before mm-hmm. it got real, real serious. It, that country was trying to do that. They said, um, they, they, they said um, that they wanted to do this experiment where they get a group of people. Give them the disease, give them the virus, and then See do it. Happens. But do it in groups of people so that the hospital not bombarded with people that get the virus. And I said, "Well, sounds like Tuskegee me, experiment." That from and it sounds like a crazy gamble. I mean, if I'm not gonna get it, I don't want to. I don't want to get it. it. I don't. I don't care about the hospital um, being overcrowded. It's just me personally. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to get it. I'm not gonna get this. Just, so, just so when I get it, okay. Well, you can treat me now because it's me and two other people. Yeah. I, I don't want it at all. I just no. don't want to get it. Like, I don't no. want. I don't care about this experiment you got going on. But it does sound like that. And then you got influenza that's gonna come up because the flu season is gonna come up like it does every year. Nobody has a grip on this coronavirus shit. So why would you be in a rush to run out? And I'm looking at the black folks that's saying. That they can't wait to get their hair done, they can't wait to get their nails done, they can't wait to go to the barber shop, go back to the bar and the club and stuff. Because Kemp says it. This nigga is not massa. He ain't he ain't the do all say all. <laughs> we can do what we want to do as black people. We need to do what's best for us. So, Just because he opened shit up don't mean we need to run out. No, to, but, um, so just yeah. to, to counter that though, do you think people I mean, do you think people are are doing it because he said he's opening it up or just cuz they just or just cuz it's opening up and they just they they've been waiting for it opening. I don't think I didn't do a Kemp per se though. I mean, he's the one that's I mean, I mean he had to. I he mean, we him. still we we still <laughs> moving around a little bit, but I mean and I understand I understand that the people I understand a lot of people's need to work, which kind of goes back to and I'm a, Somebody you know, said oh 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 Al is a he's a um he's a champion of uh who killed? Nah, it's a, it's, oh. a, it's a guy I know. Oh. But he said he said um he needed he still need a cut. Who? So, uh, well, yeah, yeah, I get it. And this is where this is where the village mentality needs to kick back in for black folks because if we can if we we don't need somebody to tell us to wear masks and wear gloves if we know that hey this disease is going around we can self quarantine ourselves but we can't survive off of each other which is a problem. The reason that these states are going around saying okay let's open back up. The ones that are doing it, if you notice who's going back out, it ain't black folks, it's white folks who can depend on their own people to do what needs to be done. So, for them. But no, I got to stop. I'm lost, but I don't want to get lost. I'm a, when you I'm said back their up. own people, what does that mean? White people. White people can shop with white people for every facet of like, life. Give me examples. Like, give me some examples. Like, what stores you talking if they, about? If they, if they need their hair done, if they need their dog groomed, if they need groceries. She said the dog groomed. I mean, that's it, yeah, I'm serious. But that's wild, though, because if, we talking yeah. about need haircuts, they're going to get their dog haircuts I'm ASAP. telling you. If they, need to, if they need to go to a tanning salon, if they need if any need that they may have, they don't have to pillage the... They don't have to come to the black community for anything. They don't have to. They can shop all white all day and get all the necessities and all the essentials and live and survive. We, so we can't, can't do that. The Asians in America can. The Mexicans or Hispanics in America can. Every the Italians in America can. Where can black people go and depend on black people to get everything that they need? And this is a pivotal moment right now where we should be looking at things through a wide ass, big ass magnifying glass saying we really don't have shit. Somebody on said, What about Walmart? Black people have Walmart. Yeah. 
We should we should have our own neighborhood grocery stores instead of Dollar General, so like Family Walmart, Dollar, like Black Mart. And, and it sounds like far fetched. That. People are like, yeah, I mean, yeah, as crazy as it sounds, why don't we have nothing like that? See, what we look at is Walmart being the the, the save all. Yeah, Man, if we had if we had somebody in the prices. neighborhood that grew vegetables, if we had somebody in our communities or our villages that had cattle or a butcher in our community. Or even somebody who makes soap, hair, but hair right grease, now, and stuff. Even still, it seems like, a little far fetched. We almost too late. We, I mean, we might be on the, we might be on the last boat, bro. This is it. But right now, I don't like. Do, do you think somebody would even like? Would somebody buy some for somebody yard that's that's growing some right now? Oh, what's going on? Shit, yeah, that's the best place to get it from. It's it would be a lot. I would much rather buy collard greens out of somebody's backyard than to buy them from Walmart. Hmm. For one, it's gonna be natural. It's gonna be cheaper, and then the motherfuckers ain't sneezing all over. You know what I'm saying? They just come out the grass, man. You can't sue one more if you like. Well, you, I guess you can't really tell if you got it from there. Right, right? now, they done they done freezed all kinds of suing on anybody who <laughs> catching coronavirus. But oh, that, I mean, but the every, point every, is every story is own risk. You just no, go the, your own risk. The point is, we need to be self sufficient in a way to where we can at least have the essentials to take care of ourselves. Right now, it's kind of a litmus test, especially for Black folks, to see what we do and don't have. We already short on health care. So we already we already won down. Then we financially set back when it c- compared to, to to the white folks. So we ain't got as much money as they got. And then if we need anything, we have to go to their establishments. We so, cannot go anywhere black owned or we don't have anything in our own community to, to take care of ourselves. We got to depend on everybody else. That's a problem. I, I, now I, this is I know it was a thought. I know it was just something they threw out there and said. But so what happened to the whole? Um, we was too strong to catch the coronavirus. Like it wasn't a thing because that was just but, so that, that beginning stuff. Like it wasn't a thing. The, I know reason, it's real now. It but was, I'm just the reason that it was said like that is because it started in Asia and Europe, and then Africa was like the last one. It was like it spread all over Asia, Europe, Iran, and then Africa is like the biggest continent over on that side of, on that hemisphere, and nobody hardly had it. Now it's starting, but you still ain't really hearing a whole lot about Africa. Yeah. But yeah, people got it now. So nobody's nobody's immune just yet. But if you notice in the news, they're trying to say some people are immune. Well, I heard some things about the news, even though um, which I mean, it's, it's the media. So I mean, you get what you, you 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 take what you get from that. But I heard some things about people in the media, um, even inflating numbers just to, to or, uh, the numbers definitely and deflating inflated. them uh, to definitely make it definitely seem safe inflated. and inflating them to make it seem even more dangerous than what it actually is. This is why Donald Trump is a very very dangerous political figure because. He just says he says what he wants the people to hear. He encouraged these people to go out and protest at the same time saying be safe and stay in. So who are you talking to? You know what I'm saying? So Well, that's the, yeah. that's, that's <laughs> in, that even like even when I work at it, they did the same thing. They put me up sometimes like, yo, you know, they they give us this rundown of what it what the what the virus is and pretty much saying it's not serious, but also saying, but you can die from it. But it's not serious though. It's, so I, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of them things where it, it, like, they, they want they want to Make sure they cover their tracks with what they're saying about it, but then also let you be like, hey, but you can go outside and work. It's okay. It's probably don't call out. I bet you that was a, a mass email from corporate. It sounded maybe. like it. Yeah, it sounded like what it. What I'm yeah. saying is, those you can people, always tell those people. Uh, you uh, say those people. What the, you the establishment that you work for <laughs> is pretty much a, a, a Republican uh, uh, entity. Okay. I I, the, I remember an email when I used to work there that was like. Uh, Trump came out with some initiative, and they had an email. And they, I was like, duh, you really want us to vote for Trump? <laughs> <laughs> it, that's what the email came across to me, reading it, because I'm sure it's an email nobody ever read. I, I, I read it, and I was like, damn, that's real. It's real so right-leaning. Like Trump, I just, I don't even But, I mean, what I'm saying is, they're, they're, is it dangerous? It is. Are they inflating it? They are, because right now, anybody who's tested for COVID and dies, you automatically die from COVID, well, regardless thing, of yeah. yeah. I know some people that I know some people that um have passed now. Not just one person, one rapper really, but um, it's hard to really tell because uh, the the virus is even the testing is not we're not all the way there yet. You know what I'm saying with that. So it's so much inaccuracies with that. It's kind of hard to just always put that on. The, honestly, right now, if you die from shortness of breath, you had it, man. That's just, that's just the point of the period. Think yeah. about it like this, and this is this. I mean, it's serious, but. It's it's almost, and this is where the conspiracy is gonna kick in. It's a it's a it's a um it's a test, man. You got to take something away from people to see how you fear. You can, you can make people move with fear. You can make people move however you want to with fear. So if you scare the shit out of them, especially on something of this nature, and then you take stuff from them, toilet tissue, for instance, or food, your income, important shit. 
you can make them move how you want them to move. Now you can see how the people are going to react, and now you can reset, and now you know how to keep society moving in the direction that you try. I don't know what the final plan is, but you can't tell me that this isn't part of the plan because mm-hmm. everything is contradicted. Dr. Fauci contradicts what Trump says, and then Trump goes back and contradicts him. It's like it's confusing because not only are you dividing the country, shit, you dividing you dividing everything. Once you divide, you can conquer. That's that's the whole plan. People die, it's real, but more people don't die from cancer. Shit, I looked at 2017-18 statistics and 10 million people died from cancer. Just in one year. We ain't even close to that number. Now, these numbers are dying quick, but still, like you said, it's not definitive. You die from pneumonia, you might have had COVID, but you died from pneumonia. Or you might have had COVID, but you died from asthma. Or yeah, you might have yeah, had COVID, yeah. but you died from diabetes. Or you might have had COVID. And, like, nigga, are they dying from COVID or not? So, I right. It's confusing. And it's stressful to the whole country. Add that along with the financial stresses. And this is a concoction to read the minds of people. See how they act under pressure. And then you can treat them how you want to. So I'm, I'm saying like with, 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 with the with the Kim opening, you know, the outside back up or whatever they're saying, you feel like it's just too soon then? It, it, it's too soon because they don't even have a so hold but, on what this virus you, is. But do you think... The mindset was for the business's purposes. Is it just making money, losing money? Is it more politics behind it than we just thinking? Or is it just... Because I've seen other... Also, we're not the first place to open back up. Like, they open beaches other places. So, you do, do you think they're seeing that and like, okay, well, if they're doing that, then we can go ahead and do it too? Nah. The beaches... Uh, man, this... I mean, and this is going to sound crazy I think, in, Florida, I think in California, right? Uh, trust me. How many black people you think was at those beaches? But okay, so actually, so why why open the beach anyway if all the stuff is going on? Because like, you can keep you, some people out, and you can keep the people that you want to come to the beach. But, at but the beach. regardless of that, you can't do the social distance thing, right? Ain't that ain't that what everybody supposed to practice right now? Social distance it's supposed to. How can you do it on the beach? You really can't, because that that would that would require a, a X amount it of people. Requires you to be in, in the one water. area. Think about it. I don't know. I mean, I've never heard anything about ocean water killing any diseases, but if, I mean, I know. For something to grow, it has to be in water. Uh, it ain't no chlorine on the beach. Uh, I mean, yeah. it's a bunch of things. That's, it's, but I noticed one thing. They stop They stop people coming from New Orleans to the Panhandle. They stop that. New Orleans is cold speed for black people. Don't come here. You got to quarantine if you're coming from New Orleans. They went back and changed it and said Louisiana. And then next thing you know, Florida opened the beaches. Mm. But I'm, I'm, <laughs> but what I'm saying, so you don't think that maybe they seen the beaches open and then they just say, right, if they doing it, we could just open Augusta uh, back open or uh, Georgia back open, whatever. Georgia's, I mean. We, Do you think he's just trying to, like, I mean, when I ask, is there any political thing behind it? Like, obviously that his name is going to be talked about, I mean, you know, because he's opening everything up. Everything will be fine if it works. They're gambling right now. Well, I mean, yeah. So that's, that's the thing. So this whole everything with this virus is a gamble anyway, regardless of which way you put it. it. It's a gamble if you follow it. It's a gamble if you don't follow it. You can either starve, not get nothing, not make no money. Like it's a lot of stuff. You, it, everything is a gamble with this virus right now. But look, and, and, and but On you know, this, but we're not. We don't have any. When I say we don't have any black scientists, why might it might be too little, too late? I can talk this shit all day. I don't know if it's worth talking about yeah, it. Or black not. scientists. We don't have black scientists in the black community that's studying. The effects of COVID nineteen, trying to find viruses for us. Well, I'm gonna say well, us specifically because we right now, now every fact that we got, we are not getting it from black hell. The Surgeon General is black, and we hear from, more from Fauci and everybody else. But he ain't even it, but on the scene. Me, something like that, I, I get it. It just to me, I feel like it would be hard to even like talk about that because the virus is so new anyway. It could be somebody searching it, but don't want to come out yet because he don't know enough, and he could be looking at. We don't know. Well, look at the people I mean, that we are listening only, to. Only been out three months, like hey, look you who know. We're listening to, I mean, they 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 just acting like they know what's going on. They're acting, but a black <laughs> see, but that's the thing. A black person can't act. He can't. You can't. If, let, let a black scientist come out today and say, "Hey, listen, I've been doing this down third. And the next week he changed it up, and the next week he changed it up. We let we, we stop listening to him at that point. We like, nah, he don't know what he's talking about. You remember the scientist that died? That the one they found in the river. The one you oh, told me about. The, we did the podcast on. Yeah, I don't remember him, but yeah, I remember. Um, you remember? The, you remember that episode when we did the? Yeah, podcast? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. You know he worked for the CDC. And he was like a oh he might, he might knew something about it maybe his cousin he, might help us out I don't know he might knew something know. about it but he yeah. might you know, he knew something thing. about something that's the thing so you look at look at that situation you're a black man you know something do you say something now or you end up like him which one is it you can't be scared of it right now that's easy that's easy for you to say you, you, you can't you're on be the other scared side of it right now man <laughs> nah, I mean, you man. can't be scared right now I mean if you in a position of power and you have knowledge you're almost I mean Black, you also have black life, people have never kids, got family, yeah. so you got to take all but that black, consideration. Uh, you have to. I mean, well, I put it like this: maybe if if, if that's the case, and, they, and we're scared, 
and our, and our people in power that have knowledge are scared to speak out, then they've won, and we might as well quit. We might as well stop. We can start the park here right now. Just stop talking about it because people like Martin Luther King, Mega Evers, Malcolm X put their life and their families on the line to make sure black people were in a position to take care of ourselves. The white, they didn't the have white, no COVID the, though. The white, no, they didn't they have. Didn't have no, we had, no, they just had bullets and, and rope. I mean, shit. What's the difference? You see kill, that coming? You, though. you can see that coming though. Yeah, we can see this coming. I ain't see it coming, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This is no, crazy. No, you you talking about you can see it coming building up. You saying yeah, that? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about this virus is just crazy. I don't no, know. no, it's not. It's, it's, you think it's, it's man made for real? Like, you really think it's man made? Or you think it's, it's just. No, it's man made. Ready made it, like, just somewhere yeah, in the lab. Yeah, between and just, Fort Detrick, Maryland, and, and Wuhan, China. But how you make a virus? Like, you just put, like, ingredients, like sugar, corn syrup? Uh, from what I understood, and this, this here is strictly, you have the DSFR. This one right here is from what I heard. Can you can we Google how to make a virus and see what happens? Uh, I'm sure you can, um, but Google I'm saying uh, you probably have to do a lot of little looking into it. But I just Google. What I heard was there was a um, there you go. You go ahead. That go there ahead. was a scientist. How to make a virus? There was a scientist in Wuhan, China, and she was um studying bats, studying bats near Wuhan, and she saw that the bats had a coronavirus, but it was not able to be passed to humans. So. In her doing the experiments with these bats, somehow it transferred to humans through manipulating the virus. Why they were manipulating the virus? And this, like I said, you have to do your own research on this. I'm not saying this is fact. This is one of the things that I've heard that could possibly be how it came about. In the midst of her doing this uh, this experiment with the bats, first she saw that bats have corona and they can't pass it to humans. Then after that, she started I, manipulating the virus. How do they know this? this, is, this you is, heard it? No, but how do, how do you know this information? Like, I, no, I'm saying. I don't know if it's fact. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She was a scientist in China. I'm so saying, bird, I don't know so, if it's so fact. So bats can't give it to us. They couldn't. But, but only after humans they, can give it to us. After it was manipulated, then it was made to a way where it could transfer to humans. Man, that manip- was in the lab, supposedly, but then one person walked out the lab with the virus, and then when it started spreading around, it was too little, too late. Then they couldn't do shit. Then it got all over China. But then did they, did they get tested and... before they went into the no, lab? No, it, it wasn't even known that it could spread from bats to humans. It was just being manipulated person, as a virus in a lab. Is what I heard. Now. But the person that hearsay was in the lab, where they tested before this stuff, when they're like, how you know he have it from Walmart? They didn't even know Target. it was. A, they didn't know it was. A, it's a novel virus. It means it's new. They don't. They didn't know what it was. They just were like, oh, it's she got a, sick. Well, damn, the other person got sick just like they got sick. It's confusing. It's very, it's very confusing. But that's part to me. That's part of the thing. If we can't, if we if, if, if we can't make up our own mind about our own well being as black people, then yes, it's going to be confusing. It's supposed to be confusing. Right. We're going to be divided because somebody's cool. going to listen to me and say this nigga full of shit. Yeah, yeah, I, I, division I, I, already. I, I can see that. But but <laughs> because, because only yeah. But that's what I'm saying. That's, and that's, that, that, you got to say that. That's what I'm saying about the the black science thing you brought up. Because if a black scientist come out today and just start going live, whatever, and talk, mm-hmm. and let's say the first. Couple of videos, he told me some real stuff, and it seemed like it makes sense, like most of them do at first. And then stuff come out, and it seemed like it's not what he was saying wasn't really right. Or the black person, it take wrong one time, that's it. They ain't listening no more. It's, it's, you don't. But who's you, your you, you alternative? Don't. Then who do you listen to after that? You, I mean, you just go Google. You gotta go find somebody. Uh, you, know, you just go Google. <laughs> no, bro. Like you, you, go how, you got a gang of like. <laughs> like that's it. Yeah, I mean, googling YouTube. You talking? I mean, I, I hate to bring them up, but you thinking about even. It's just this guy's is funny to me, but the, the 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 black guy you like that's funny now. He's a comedian now, but he um, what's his name? Dr. Umar, like him, like <laughs> it, it took it took <laughs> it took one two. Like he just had a, a comp- He had a whole compilation just saying wild stuff now. So now he he not he not even looked at it as somebody that has smarts and what he really is now. He looked at it as a comedian. It says, look at what they do. Oh, he he, he just said the same thing. What? What's up, Hank? He said the same thing. He oh, said. Yeah, Hank. Mm-hmm. What they look at what they do to Dr. Umar. Same thing. I, I just said that. So. I mean, it, but I mean, the same thing that happened no, to Dr. It, Umar. The same thing that happened to Marcus Garvey. I don't, come on. No, it's yeah, the nah, same. Nah, no, nah, uh, nah, no, nah, no, 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 come on. No, no, it's the same thing that happened to Marcus lie, Garvey. Man. It's the same thing so that happened. We, 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 can't, we can't be comparing Umar no, and not, Garvey. No, I ain't comparing like, them. I ain't comparing their no. life work. I'm saying what happened to what happened to Marcus Garvey at the end of his life is the same thing that happened to Umar at the end of his career. Huh? He turns a comedian. No, everybody thought it. I mean, everybody they they made black people turn against him. They said, "Look, man, this guy's a fraud. He bought these fake ass boats for y'all niggas to get on. Y'all done paid for the shit, and the boats don't even run. Lock his ass up. They locked him up for fraud. He died in prison. And and, 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 how does, and how Marcus that, Garvey was one of the most prolific forward moving. But I'm saying, niggas. how does that? Huh? 
No, because I mean, they, they, the, I mean, what I'm down. saying is they made him look like a fool to black people. So then he did. He was discredited. No, and then they locked them up. In that sense, I can see that. That's, that's I, the only I, I, comparison I I'm drawing right now. That's what I'm saying. But this one, <laughs> Umar does it himself. You know that, right? It's not, well, I, I don't he think he's saying some crazy shit, too. I mean, I, I understand. He said a lot of smart things. Yeah. But over the years, and now, and now they even bring up younger videos of him. And he's he was he was on that same type of time that he's on now. He was, he was wild. Man, ego is a funny thing, man. <laughs> My man, it says, government went after Garvey. Black people turned on their own. Exactly. Same thing you're saying. Exactly. Hey, what's up, Hank? He, Hank, Hank, we know some stuff. I know man. we do. I know. Y'all yeah, be seeing y'all go back and forth on, on, on social media. Yeah, I, like, I, like, I like Hank because me and him can have a Hank power. <laughs> you said power. Yeah, no, because I mean, I mean we, cool. we cool, agree cool. and then disagree, but it's from a logical standpoint. When you can have a productive conversation with somebody without saying, oh, nigga, you dumb as hell for thinking like that, then it's always a productive com- t- conversation. Well, you know, niggas going nigga, bro. I mean, niggas is going nigga. They don't do nothing else. They going nigga. I'm telling you right now. If niggas do nothing else, they going nigga. And, yeah. and, and, and step one of nigga in is calling another nigga dumb when, when you don't understand yeah, it. I totally that's, agree. That's, that's, that's the first thing. I totally agree. So, you know, that, that's, that's never going to change. That, that, that's happened before, since before time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's, it's it's part of our downfall. It, it, it goes to our detriment. It doesn't, it doesn't always work out for us. It doesn't always work out for us. Uh, you know what happened? Uh, uh, white folks don't go, uh, don't go cracker all the time. Like, look at Trump the other day. What he, he say? No, let me tell you what time. he said. Let me tell you what he said. He said, <laughs> he said, Kemp, Kemp said, I'm opening up Georgia. Trump said, great, Kemp, for leading the charge. Two days later, he said, I totally disagree with that nigga. He shouldn't open uh, it up. <laughs> so, I like that. That's a good example. But that's what he did. <laughs> so, okay, so, I, I can see that. That's kind of like your, almost, now you're gonna almost similar to what we do when it's family. Like, you know, your, your, your man's just wrong. Mm-hmm. You don't tell him right then and there, but they don't be like, hey, that was some bullshit you was on. But, you know, I took you, I took you back at that time. But but I think what that's different is pump, Trump publicly he agreed and then also said, I he don't know. He publicly agree. agreed and publicly disagreed. But, he waited, but the difference between that and like black people was like, Trump, you call him dumb or whatever you want, but he waited because. You disagree professionally. I mean, you, you agree professionally, and then you disagree professionally. So it's not no bad blood there. It's just like it's almost like as if they probably see each other there and could talk and drink and like nothing went on. But black people is like when I when I when I don't agree with you, mm-hmm. I'm gonna disrespect you also. Can I take you on a quick on a real quick? Don't just give me three and a half minutes on a little pause, pause, on a man. little yeah yeah that's kind of wild. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Man. This, this is I just want to take you on a trip right <laughs> quick in a in a um in a parallel universe right here. That's good, Jenny. Real quick. Could imagine this. Just imagine it for a quick second. I still think Trump is a dumbass. But imagine if Trump was saying everything that America or the people in power didn't want us to know. Trump say the news is fake. What if he meant literally this shit is fake and everything they're doing they're putting on. And he was the and he was the one that was No, I'm just I'm throwing I'm just I'm I'm playing devil's advocate to an extent. The chicken wing. To an extent. <laughs> What if he was the What if he was the president? That's like, yeah, I know I'm 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 fucked up on a race type shit, but I'm telling you, a lot of this shit they feeding y'all is fake, and everybody around him is like, you can't say that, bro. <laughs> Why? Because we have an agenda, and right now you're straying away from it. And, and Trump, unless he's reading off of teleprompter, says whatever the hell he wants to say. I'm not saying that. I'm saying in a just playing devil's advocate. What if he was that guy? And what if everything that he's the president of the United States? Gets an influx of information that nobody else gets. And what if he's putting that shit out and he's like, motherfuckers won't listen to me, black or white. They just won't really listen to me. And the people that do listen to me, they look like crazy racists, but I'm telling you, all this shit is fake. Just a loop. Because he's he, he's a one-of-a-kind asshole now. Yeah. <laughs> he's a one-of-a-kind asshole. I'm not a Trump fan at all. But just to... If you were to think about it that way, what if he was exposing those who didn't want to who didn't want to be exposed for the games that they play and the tricks that they play on America? And I do know the tricks are being played on America. And when he says fake news, is he talking about CNN specific or is he talking about the agenda? If people were to think like that for a second, hmm. but I don't know, that. man. I'm just I, all I can say is that's this what virus has shown that you know we got a lot of time on our hands, man. Um, yo, <laughs> that was, but I, I I get it. But I mean, coming from you, I was I understand because you were thinking anyway. That's, yeah, that's how I, you normally yeah, think. Just thinking that's whether yeah, virus, virus, no virus. virus. You know, busy, non busy. You drive and think that way. So yeah, exactly, you would come one day. You had a stop sign. Yo, imagine this. It's just, <laughs> I don't know. It's, 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 this is this is cute. You know it what I'm saying? It happens. This is the cue I've known to, to. I've known to. I've come to know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> 
But um, just in in the midst like of talking about the virus and you know and still bringing up uh, camp and just but here like, what do you know anybody personally affected by the virus? Um, well, I'm gonna tell you this, man. My uncle passed up in New York. Initially, what was said was he had COVID symptoms and they sent him home to quarantine himself for 14 days. You, but, but I'm sorry, not because, but you know, do you do know them symptoms are breathing? This is what they, this is what they told him. Stop breathing. That's a, that's a COVID symptom. Yeah, but like that's this is what this is why I say inflated numbers. They sent him home, and and then he passed, and then they took him twenty four hours to come pick up his body because they were saying that he died from COVID. When they did the autopsy, they found out it wasn't even COVID, but they blamed it on him. And I wonder is he in the number mm. because that's the first thing that they said. The numbers could definitely be inflated, but the fact that he didn't get help because of COVID kind of pisses you off, and the fact that they blamed it on COVID and it wasn't. Kind of let me think that y'all probably could have saved them. Well, let me ask you a personal question, I guess. Uh, were you fearful? Are, are, are you fearful of this? I mean, I see you. You, you, got, you got your mask and stuff I wear on. my mask for other reasons more so. I, I mean, I don't want to get sick. I'm kind of, I'm a little more sensitive to being a germaphobe now, but I always was because I used to see people. You know, you know I'm sorry. I, I do want to say this like one thing. Yeah. I, I, I mentioned it on fire. But I have to say it. I think the mask thing to me is like the most <clears throat> wildest thing that, um, to me that, um, People get upset about because mm-hmm. I seen people dissing people or like uh, belittling people for wearing their mask, saying y'all look done with your mask on. So da da da. And I I, I made it. I made this mm-hmm. comparison the other day. I was like, well, let's just say for instance, the mask doesn't help you. Like for, for whatever reason, you saying that it don't help you for whatever reason. You got people got these points of why I help you and why I don't help you. Like right, cool. If somebody feel more comfortable wearing a mask, going outside and they wearing a mask, and they feel comfortable, they feel make them feel safe. Mm-hmm. Cool. If somebody walk around with a gun with no bullet, but they make them feel more safe. Fine. That's that's on you. When you, if if you if you have sex with somebody and they don't have nothing, you don't have nothing, but you feel safe wearing a condom, right? I'm not gonna stop wearing a condom because, oh, she ain't got nothing. You stupid. No, that's that's your. If you feel more safe doing that, then that's that's on you. So I, I don't understand why people belittle people for wearing the the the, the, the mask on this, their face. Well. I got a mask. Honestly, <laughs> what, I, what I understand is it's not even protect them; it's to protect y'all anyway. It's to protect the other it's person. It's to protect me yeah. from so coughing if I do got on something, you. But if I do got something, I'm it's on me. It's not yeah, on so, you at that yeah. point. It's so, not to. It's not a shield blocking. It's not. A, it's not a COVID shield. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ever said that. So that was, no. that's the craziest hell to me. But see, that's come from ignorance. I like that, it comes from ignorance. If you don't understand and not reading, I I don't read so much in the past month. Like you said, I got man. I'm, I'm I know you always reading something. Yeah. Most of the time it's in excerpts. I don't just read. I read enough about something, but then when I research something, I got like a OCD type thing. I got to read it and then read what that word means. And I know that's how you come with your. On, that's on. how you come with your own conspiracy. You yeah, but then a few books and it ain't books. all. It ain't all YouTube. It ain't all clips. A I lot know, of it's I, reading and research. And I've been commending you yeah. for that because you actually you, you you take time to go into your. I your, just want to read. A, I know something about it. I don't know everything, but I know I like to know a little bit about everything enough to where if I'm really interested in it, I can go back reference this, whatever I'm looking at. And, yeah, and I can talk about it at length to an extent, or at least build my own theories of it. I think the problem. Some of the problem with us is we don't build our own theories anymore. We rely on the theories of of others. But um, stay on that topic. You mm-hmm. said we don't build our own theories anymore. We rely on theories of others. But the way social media works now and how it is, I think that's that's, that's the pro, that's the gift and curse of so of social media now because of that. So you got people that rely on social media. So they will go to your YouTube. Mm-hmm. They will go to your Dr. Umar, they wait till this person come up and they whatever they say, you know the first thing they do? They take that, they go they go to the people that's not listening to that mm-hmm. and they act like that's their theory for one. Mm-hmm. And they they, they, they expound well, on it. Well, it's a couple of things that can be good about that and, and, and it's it can it depends on how you it, ego. Ego ego will fuck everything up. I listen to I listen to on YouTube, if you listen to and I and I beg I've been begging people for years to subscribe to Professor Black Truth and Jason Black, the yeah. Black Authority. A lot of their talking points, I do repeat. But I repeat it because nobody's fucking listening. I mean, people are listening. They may have like 80, 90,000 viewers on the watch, on the show. That's 80 or 90,000 people. And they may come, they come from different parts because when people call in, they be from, you know, everywhere. Right, but the right. thing is, when I mention, I can mention it to 10 people out here. You, you listen to TBA or Jason Black, and they be like, who is that? This guy that made four movies but, and the, but about the, the, our situation. He's very, re- very relevant in our society right now, and a lot of people don't even know who he is. But that's, that's crazy. That's an upside. So a, a downside to which was what mm-hmm. we're talking about here is the fact that when somebody does take the initiative to do come up with their own theories, mm-hmm. 
how we are on social media, um, mostly killer. people, yeah, you kill, you knock them down, like you shoot them down, like you stupid, shut up. They're just like cipher on Matrix. Ignorance is bliss. Cipher instead of knowing that, the truth of what the Matrix is about, would rather betray his own people and go back to live in the real world. But well, depending on where you at in life, that will discourage somebody to, to want to keep doing that, or you got. Some black people who, who don't have that strength, so they be like, you get that that effort mentality, like fuck it, then you know what I'm saying, like ah uh, fuck, it. I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself. But at that point, you're really doing doing a disservice to your people. But if you're not doing it for that reason, I can understand. But you get what I'm saying, like uh, yeah, it's a I gift and a curse because we clown them so much that the people that probably could come up with their own theories and be helping, they don't do it because they might be scared of what says. Our own society, not what society is gonna think, but our own people are gonna think of them. Man, anyway. and I tell you what. As many wild people scared to be, you know, people are scared to be. I know you like hit the term, but woke. I, I mean, I let's say enlightened, let's say enlightened, I mean, yeah, or smart. Yeah, you got to use the let's say, let's say think outside the box. People are scared to think outside the box because it's a um, it's it's, it's laughable, it's, it's a laughable thing. It is, it's almost like how for a little while people scared of rappers, man, but people could people laugh so much. So, you, you like people remember people back back in the day, people rapped, but they didn't say they rapped, mm-hmm. you just had to find out, you know what I'm saying? Now, everybody rap, but so it's cool now, but back then it wasn't cool to be a rapper because. Yeah, it's like you're a local you, you rapper. You really like, want to be a rapper? Yeah, like who are you? What you gonna do? So it's like it's like that now. Like it's people scare things out of box because you people are all man gonna group them in some category they want to be grouped in. Man, I don't even put. I put maybe twenty to twenty five percent of my thought processes on Facebook. I, the stuff that I think and the stuff that I say, what I say is just like it's debatable. What I think is beyond debate, if mm-hmm. that even makes sense. I don't think in three dimensions. Everybody else sees the world through three dimensions. I don't. But what's those three dimensions? No, it's just three dimensional, like a three D oh, movie. Okay, gotcha, you know, gotcha. you got two dimensions, flat and level, and then you got three dimensions, things in three D. Then you got four D. I don't believe that's the last dimension. I believe the dimension is infinity. But to talk to somebody about the infinite dimensions and in the the only person that I can really, you know, Ricky Prestige. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard of him. Me and Rick can have a conversation. But I can't have that conversation with just the average motherfucker. Because the average motherfucker gonna do exactly what you said. Oh, what the fuck is he talking about? He sound like a quack. He's crazy. Right. <laughs> this nigga crazy. Yeah. Uh, this something wrong with that nigga. Yeah, yeah, something wrong with him. He, he too far to the left or too far. He that, way that, out there that, somewhere. That, that I don't nigga, know what he smoked. That nigga too woke for me. <laughs> hey, here it go. And that, then woke becomes a joke. The stuff that we have conversations about you may never be able to prove in your lifetime out of stuff that we can have conversations about. The things that go through my mind, we could we could have conversations about and it might enlighten you to another part of life of your own life that you never really thought about, but it'll never be proven. So this is why, and this is why when, when <laughs> Not in lifetime, quote unquote, mm-hmm. woke people or whatever talk, I wish that y'all could put together a uh, dissertation or some kind of video of things that back in the day Let's say 60s, 50s, 70s. Mm-hmm. Start from there that people kind of ridiculed blacks or, you know, about for thinking this way. Shit, and like, then finding out. Oh, I know, but then good. but then finding out later on in life that there was some validity to that and truth. Because I say that to say Ooh. that when you do that, going forward, I mean, I'm talking it's, it's just a base, something basic. Sounds like a documentary that you need to shoot. I would do that. I would definitely <laughs> do that. But, but something basic, nothing too fancy, but to the point. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because some people need just to the point. And I, I mean, I'm thinking about stuff now. You think about, think about the um, Black Panther. You think about Walter King, Malcolm X. The regular stuff we talk about. But we don't we don't, we don't, don't highlight so much how people were ridiculed for thinking differently or believing X, Y, Z. Meanwhile, this was this was the thought process then. Because when we watch it now, we already knowing that. So we watch documentaries not thinking in real time because we know Okay, we know Martin Luther King, let's say let's say John F. Kennedy, yeah. right? We know that uh, that was some some kind of pol- political mm-hmm. thing, shooting thing, right? Mm-hmm. We know that already. So we watching that. We not watching it in the, in the mindset of thinking like this can't happen. It would never happen. It would never, it would never be no conspiracy. The government would never do this. We not watching it in that mind frame. We watching it already knowing it. So in our mind, we never really take the fa- take the time to think. Okay, well, damn, that was a conspiracy at some point, and it was proven to be a real True. thing. So we don't look at that as conspiracy. Like nobody looks at that conspiracy. That's why I be like, history repeats. All you got to do is just read it. Look and at right it. Right now, we not looking at nothing. We not looking at nothing as as a conspiracy. <laughs> Actually, matter of fact, now we take it more so as a joke, and we joking it more to the point where we can't take it even. 
damn a theory. We don't take it serious at this point. Like it's nothing is serious to us at this point. So we don't look at because we have a theory the road, or a man. conspiracy theory. We we don't take it as a real thing in in general. Some I mean some people do, but those people are successful. Yeah, yeah, and it, they ain't got to worry about no, half the time either. Yeah, but I mean <laughs> we we probably wouldn't either if we took. I mean it's it's. We're a different breed of people, but we're under a we're under we're under a spell. They say I'm woke. All right, then you under a spell. Fuck it. Mm. You be you can be you can be you can be under your spell. I stay asleep, and I just be woke. And maybe I don't make sense to you, and maybe you don't make sense to me. I mean, unfortunately, it's gonna come to that in order for yeah. uh, for survival. Because <laughs> it's like, man, if I can't do nothing with you, even Marcus Garvey said, "Hey, <laughs> some of these niggas don't do shit in America." Pan Africanist movement was saying, "Let's move back to Africa." Shit, they ain't gonna do nothing in Africa. Leave their asses here. We can't do nothing with them. They ain't doing shit here. They ain't gonna do nothing there. And he said that. <laughs> it, we in the same phase right now. The sad part is, is the, the 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 mentality of of our people. A lot of our people is just. I don't know. Unfortunately, we in a position, man. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, I hate well, I to be the harsh, we, the not, harsh we not voice of criticism for our people, but I mean, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm the. I would say I'm the pro blackest nigga that I know. As far as shopping black. Buying black, I even got my family on the shit. They be like, "Hey, is it black on?" It's a question. Years and years of, of, of <laughs> drilling it. It's I, a question I, yeah. now, but now I'm hoping that when they get of age and they start doing their things themselves, they be like, "Shit, I want to start buying from, I want to buy from a black owned company." If you can, if you can, you know, it's just if we don't do that now, our kids, your kids, mm-hmm. it's gonna be a, a a zombie, a zombie population. They're just gonna do what they see on YouTube, and they're just gonna continue to do that. That's already starting, so that's crazy. Oh, shit, you know <laughs> it's damn near over. I be, I know it's not for nothing. I know it's gonna do this, but mm-hmm. I be thinking about that. Yo, you know how easy it be just to get a white back screen, get a put a colorful uh, suit on, mm-hmm. and be something for black kids. Is it put a camera in front of you? Like my, my daughter watched this thing called Blippy all the time. Mm-hmm. Blippy, Blippy, Blippy. And he don't do nothing amazing. Like he go, he he actually went somewhere. But I took my daughter to one time, which mm-hmm. is the the museum in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. And I look at the video. And he got like eighteen, twenty something million views. And all he did was the same thing me and my daughter did when he was there. He just got he happened to have a hat on, a, a nice is, camera. What, what does he do? He just go and he he sings songs every now and then about whatever he's doing. You what know guy? what I'm saying? Hmm? What yes, but he put, he, but but. Look at Yo Gabba Gabba. They did it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just colorful okay. stuff in a bat in a in a, in a in a terrible background. Very cheap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you get these millions and millions and millions of views on YouTube, but about knowing that system. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying to say like black people could do it too. We just don't. We need to. I mean, yeah, and, and just let me let me let me just I gotta throw this in there too. It's just a little caveat. Did you watch Black F? Black as fuck on I heard of it. I'm not gonna lie, but I ain't gonna say it. It's no, just, no, it please. Don't, please. Don't appeal, no, because I've heard it. It don't, I, look, I it don't look appealing to me. Okay. I'm gonna try though, because just, just, if you tell me to try, I'm gonna try it. But it don't look appealing to me. It's it's good. This is not. I mean, that's that's actually Kenya Burris, but it's not his real family. But it's. Uh, have you ever seen? Uh, you know who Larry David is? It's a Jewish comedian. He wrote Seinfeld. Okay, I know. I know. I know he had a show is. on um, uh, HBO called Curb Your Enthusiasm. I, I watched that too. Yeah. Okay, that's all it is. It's Black Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's exactly what it is. Okay, I can see that. I'm not mad at the show because we needed that. We needed that. And he tells it from a real black perspective, and he has morsels of of black history in it, and then okay. morsels of scenario situations where it's like all these white people around, and I got to do this. Or I'm black, and this is my black. This is how we do. He had a Juneteenth episode. Okay, I like the show, but it's basically he did what Larry David did, and it worked. And so, uh, to me, and people who don't get it, they just don't get it. But, but I got I, it because I, I watched. Can, the I, can, I, can I tell you what our yeah. community is saying about it? What? Yeah, cause I mean I ain't heard nobody say too much good about it, but I like. Yeah, but I, I mean, just tell you, and it, yeah. let's go back to what we were saying earlier. It's mm. another, just just another form of it. Knock the nigga. They're saying it's a knockoff of Blackish. Do they know that Kenya Burris makes Blackish? But what I'm what I'm getting at with that is <laughs> our community is saying that. Yeah, cause they don't. They, a lot but, of them but, don't but even my, know that this even is the nigga if, that makes even Blackish. If, that first of all, how that's you gonna the, knock off your own shit? Bro, that's the irony of what he's doing. For one, yeah. that's the irony, it's just it's just irony, it's just irony in that anyway. But my thing is, why, you, why if you could you could have Seinfeld, you could have A. Loves Raymond, you could have King of Queens, you could have Friends. I'm naming all the white shows I know. Yeah, that was good. You could have Friends. Um, things that's about it. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? But they all about, they all got the same content this damn third, right? Mm-hmm. You don't hear. But that's a knockoff of friends. You don't you don't hear that. But what I'm saying, why and that's that, that go back to what I'm saying, like they can do their own thing and be okay, but we so the minute we do it's like ah, we can't do that it. goes back to what I say. Say that one more time what you just said. They can do their own thing and be okay. And be okay with it. We they can shop with their own people and be okay. And we we can't, can't shop with our own. We can't be. Uh, 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 yeah. Imagine living in a world where you can't even bootleg your own shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like he can't even. Not, he, like, if anybody gonna do a knockoff, why can't it be this person? Like why can't it be that person oh, to knock off it, their uh, own show? But the people who say that, and I have seen that, I'm like, are y'all ignorant or stupid? Because I'm like, y'all do know that's Kenya Burris, right? A lot of them ignorant to the show because some of them, some of them didn't watch Blackish in any anyway. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you do know he is the producer of Blackish. That's what I'm like. Y'all saying that it's a, I heard somebody say it's a knockoff of black, and I think I typed in a comment. I was like, y'all, y'all do know that's Kenya Burris. They don't know that though. That's the thing. They don't know that. And I was like, damn, this is this is he's one of he's up there with the Tyler Perry's and the um, Ava DuVernay's in terms of being having exposure and and being on the, on the big screen and being able having the ability to put movies out. Spike Lee's and all of those, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He, he's of that that group of people who's black producers in Hollywood. That can make something happen, and you don't even know who he is. <laughs> and then when he come out with something on Netflix that's top ten, you like it's a knockoff of Blackish, and you don't even know that this is on goddamn show. But <laughs> it, just I want to I want to throw this in there that, too, though. That, yeah, that's the, um, that's another level. Of ignorance. When you talk about us and our people, mm-hmm. I think it's it's funny. Like I think co- companies on this too, mm-hmm. and so you could, you kind you kind of like play on like the black mind, whatever, mm-hmm. or the black. Uh, Thought process of what they watch, mm-hmm. just throw it on Netflix and give it a number. Yeah, that's it. If you throw it on Netflix, and give it a number. Netflix honestly should pay for top ten slots. I what I've noticed now is that since they've been doing that, people go watch it. The show been boosting. So I don't know how long Black is Black AF been out. I don't mm-hmm. know how long it's been out. I don't know if like it just a week, dropped. Two weeks, I think. Week and a half. I know how long I've seen it. I don't know how long it's been on that show, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It could, say it was there, let's say it was there for two months. You're right. It could have been there for two months. We don't know because they all right, put, it don't no, pop no, up. Number five on it now. Yeah, okay. Now everybody watching it. You know what I'm saying? Almost mm. like All American, same thing. All American, come on. I'm like the radio. It hey, come on regular TV. I'm like the radio. You want these spins? Back in the day, now yeah. it, it, now radio no more. Netflix new radio now. Yeah. Netflix is Power 105. Yeah. Now 97. You know what I'm saying? Netflix and then and Hulu, but mm-hmm. you know Netflix is the top thing right now. But even the um the what was that? What was the documentary that I watched? I'm not gonna lie. The the, the tiger, tiger, I, whatever that shit was. Joe Zuck. Niggas have never watched that. They gave they gave it a number on Netflix and niggas started watching it. Niggas have never watched that. Nobody was nobody 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 knew who this guy was I, or who I, that girl was. Now everybody know who Kara Baskins is. But, yeah, but it, I watched it from a. Whole, I, I I wonder what lens people watched it through because I was like, the problems white people have pale in comparison to the problems I know, we right. have. I was late. I watched these are funny. two rich white people who got rich off of after off of having a zoo of exotic cats. Nigga, we can't even have that conversation. Do you yeah, know what know, kind of right. money they playing with when this is their problem? And then you got money involved, sex, and murder. You got all the elements, and they fucking around with tigers I want, and I want, shit. I wonder what I want. I wonder what lens uh, Mike Vick watched it through. He's like that nigga Chris Hardy oh having God, a couple no, dog fights. These niggas having whole shows and probably killing husbands. Killed seventy goddamn. Your tiger done killed your whole husband, nigga. <laughs> you yeah, you husband. out here free world eating <laughs> steak and shrimp, and you done bad. I had to do three, three years, nigga. Goddamn. I was like, you don't, you fed your husband to you. Yeah, that's to, quite, that's wild. Took all their money and they opened up a bigger zoo. But that that just, but honestly, like it's just funny like how you know it's, everything's a, um when you watch it on a big scale of things like you watching that and you see the lens you watched it through. Everything, everything's perspective though. But look at that perspective and look at look at look at that struggle that they had in there. In there. That was their struggle. Her struggle was. He was ridiculed, you ridiculed me on, on his YouTube show that wasn't getting a lot of views anyway. But now that it's pretty sure he probably done his money piped the roof now because all on YouTube is he getting now. And, and he's gonna get watch come October. Then I, heard, then I heard something about Trump's possibly exonerating. Watch him. October. Yo, yo. <laughs> he gonna let Joe Exotic out. Every hillbilly and redneck in America gonna vote for Trump just because he let Joe Exotic. <laughs> I was talking. They're to, I, 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 I be talking to this person right now who half and half, right? Uh-huh. And. I don't think they get what I be saying sometimes. Like, like, like you need to embrace your white side. Like, it's 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 different for y'all. It's, mm-hmm. it's like trust me. I know being black is cool in the community right now, but then if you can embrace it, embrace it. I'm telling you right now. If I had that card on my sleeve, how do you embrace it when your skin tone is your tattoo? I don't understand how. I, you well, can I don't do have that. that card on my sleeve, but if I did, no, I don't saying. But a person like that, hell, I know people who mix 
and when but I'm talking about half and half. Nigga. I'm talking about half and half, not the half half when you you black and half and half half when I don't know you black. You oh, so you mulatto? Me. So you look like you white? You can go for white on any given yeah, day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hmm. I, I use that card. I, I know you. I know you. Want be, I know you want to be one of us. Trust me. And you know um, you ain't missing nothing. Man. This, uh, yeah. <laughs> you ain't missing nothing. Opportunity. I'm telling you right now. You ain't missing nothing. Opportunity. The minute you say you black, you fucked it all up. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. But you can't say you black I'm until you, you get to a certain level. But the thing is, once you get to that certain level, they won't let you say you black. Look, <laughs> shit. Um, the girl that wanted to be black. What's her name? Uh, uh, Rachel Dozal. Like, that's you know what I'm saying. Like you can't even you can't she, even want to be black. Like you, she 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 should have got as much exposure as goddamn the Tiger King. She, you know, what I mean, she, I, I'm pretty sure. She there's got, a, a there's a documentary. Oh, no, she got a Netflix show. No, it's already it's been out. I, I don't want to watch it. If it's not a documentary, I don't want to. It was. Oh, okay. It's, no, it wasn't a movie. It's hers. It was a, no, it's her. It, nah, it I, was, I, I, no, it was. I need to be somebody else. Following her and her around her kids, her whole life story, how she grew up white, what school she went to, how she got to NAACP, how she fell from glory, and how well, she it's can't get that, a job now. Part. She couldn't get a job now because she, <laughs> they wouldn't even give her welfare because they were like you. They you probably act like they, you nah, they probably they asked on her application like, "What's your ethnicity?" No, nah, they were like, "You're really treating you like a nigga now." <laughs> I know, right? Like, you still be black? Well, the kids was kids are black. Oh yeah, she had, she yeah, had by, the kids black. black. Yeah, I mean, she, her kids was mixed, but mixed black. Hmm. But she just stuck with being white, looking like she black, but can't convince nobody that she black because black people were pissed with her. I really wasn't pissed with her. I don't see the. Man. And, but white people was like, "Fuck it, you want to be a nigga? Then go ahead, be a nigga. Then we're gonna treat with you the, just with, like we treat them with the R on the end. With the R on the end, she probably got an extra R on her shit now. She got two R. Yeah, that's crazy. That's wild. Yeah, that shit crazy. <laughs> Pop smoke. Well, you a <laughs> her. <laughs> what are you? That's Shut funny. up, her. <laughs> Sick him. <laughs> <Her. laughs> what you could do? And you got to talk around her. Uh, just be like, yeah, that's her. What she? Yeah, uh, that's crazy, yeah, bro. man. But I mean, that's that's just how it goes. Bro. You yeah. know how that goes. Oh no, man. Uh, but we live in strange times right now. I think the world. I mean, just uh, uh, on the, on the conspiracy side of the game. I'm gonna get off the five G, but I'm still keeping the lookout for it. Oh, and so, the I'm world tell, is about to change. Let me tell though. you, the tell only thing that. I don't know if that is what five G is, but I will say this: I heard of it, but um, I ain't, I ain't that I haven't been that invested. I, I figure I would let things fizzle. I'm just, honestly with the five G thing going. On, I'm so busy trying to catch the the other thing. I'm like, damn, I don't know. I might run into that. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. I'm trying. I'm just trying to. Yeah, just trying I'm to trying to stay safe. black and die, bro. Yeah, I want to. I want to die black. When they say how he died, he was black. He was black. I don't want to. <laughs> don't don't COVID me, please. I don't want to have that on me. You know what I'm saying? Just he was don't black. Don't COVID me. I you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would rather die from my ego at this point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm with the ego right now. I would rather die from that than die from mm, that thing. Else, but yeah. I said, um, this is one time where I where I haven't seen too often where people like. Thinking this is it's some kind of uh, smoking mirror. So knowing when something happened, people are like, hmm, what the government hiding from us? You know what I'm saying? It is. But now I'm thinking about it. I I, I haven't seen that, but I'm worried. I haven't seen that post now. I've you know seen what I'm saying? It. I'm, and I'm kind of like what you were saying. Some things I don't want to say because I'm gonna get so much. I'm gonna get so much uh, hit back from my own people. Mm-hmm. Of why are you saying that? You know what? What used to piss me off. And um, shout out to Hank. He's still my guy. But Hank said something one time. He was like, I was like, man, now niggas getting sick. They're trying to make black people the face of the disease. Yeah, black people watch out. Basically, it was a nutshell. I said something like that. And he was like, his response was, why, um, why? It's not a race thing. It's a, it's a humanitarian issue. Hmm. Not that it's a humanitarian issue, man. Not when you're black. It's a humanitarian issue when it affects everybody. When it affects black people more so, it's a black issue, and let them niggas deal with it. Like that. Poison can't. I mean, poison, can't, case in point. After 9 11, I remember after 9 11 being at Home Depot, and it was a, a, a Muslim woman looking for some countertops. And I was like, you know, she, was, she wanted help, but it was a white woman beside me that I was helping. So she was just kind of standing there with her, um, you know, with the garb on and whatnot. Yeah. And then, um, you know, she just had like a question. So I'm sitting there helping the white woman. I was like, yeah, can I help you? And she asked me a question. I helped her. And then she went on. And then the white woman, when I got back to her, I was like, yeah, she was like, those people are taking over our country. Our. The first time I ever heard that shit like that, nigga. Oh, now it's <laughs> our country? I never forget that. That's that was right after 9-11. I never, ever forget that. It was like 2002. 
It was the year after. When, right when we was going to war, when, when, when America was going to war with nah, Iraq. See, now you're you hunching now. We, you said we was going yeah, to war. When I, America I, was going to war I with Iraq. Hey, 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 when America <laughs> was going to war with Iraq, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the lady was saying, they taking over our country. And I was like, you really saying this our country now? But then, just like that, Mike Brown gets killed. And them niggas acting crazy in Ferguson. Them niggas acting crazy. <laughs> y'all wildin'. <laughs> yeah, y'all wildin'. Get from out of y'all yeah, real Trey quick, Brown right? Martin get killed. It's like, what are y'all doing? Take, Where, take, where's the humanitarian part of that? Take y'all hoodies off. Got killed. T- Tamir Rice get shot up in, in, in uh, up in um, Cleveland or whatever. Where's y'all the got a duck. Yeah, where's the humanity? <laughs> y- y'all crazy. kids can't be walking around with them play play guns from Family Dollar with the orange nose peeled off. Hmm. Where's the humanity? It was a kid we're talking about, right? Yeah. But then when something happened to the the white lady that got killed by the black cop, the whole goddamn world was just like, oh my God. Oh, he killed this white woman innocent. He did. He he did. It was fucked up. It was wrong. Mm-mm-mm. But he got locked up. He doing like 12, 15 years. Hey. I don't know what to say, man. People just need to wake up. We're not being treated fair. We never have, never will. And if you think we are, it's a fucking lie. We're not. Mm. You don't have to like that statement, but it's the truth. Hey, man. Most people don't like it. Truth hurts. Yeah. It hurt or to kill your ass. <laughs> <laughs> One or two going to happen. Well, add, add that to the stand. Right? I'm, I'm trying to catch the truth while I catch COVID yeah. also. Stay out of COVID. I ain't right, trying man. to catch that. I'm glad you hey, y'all, that. give me the truth. Please. You know, man, you know how good it's going to be to shake niggas' hands? That's what I'm saying. If you gonna go to the bar, you a funny, you a funny guy, hand, man. I can't even shake niggas' hands no more. I be feeling like I feel like love lost. Nah, I gotta stay woke. I ain't shaking nobody's <laughs> hand. Rest of my life now. I'm good. That, no, I'm good now. Nah, shit, I mean shit. But I, you know, slap and dap, nigga. That's why I was like, we can start throwing gang signs or put the fist back up. Hank said that. Shout out to Hank again. We gotta get him on the show. Put the fist back up. He said, man, just put the fist back up. That's gonna be the new symbol of what's up. When you got a mask on and they can't see me, say what's up, dog. Oh, <laughs> speaking of that though, I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of wild, like. Women look mad good in these masks. I don't know if they because they're hiding their face. I'm dead serious. I'd be like, yo, quarantine. Focus. Yo, a, a quarantine body. Yo, quarantine bodies is wild though, because they, cause all you see is the body, like, and everybody, got, everybody want to be a spandex fake mask. And I, look at the oh eyes. The eyes don't lie. Hey, hey, man, all you gotta do, you look at somebody's see, eyes. It's all good. I see is tights and eyes and ass. You know what I'm saying? Ass and eyes. Yeah, I see that in my eyes. Go see the ass. I'm like, okay, but I can't see a face. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't, I didn't try to help a few people and put stuff in their car. Like, oh, no, this is not But I was. I didn't sign up for this one. You take that mask yeah. off and be missing three teeth. I just stopped loading after a while. Like, oh, nah, I'm good. You got the rest? All right, cool. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> all right, but yeah. Yeah, they coming in the lows, coming fresh out the house. Like, I've been in the house all week. They coming in there with flip-flops, spandex, no bra, and a mask on. Yeah, they take And a hat because they had their hair done. <laughs> looking good, though. And it's like. <laughs> looking they, like a whole snack, nigga. They, they, they got to the scratch their nose. They take that thing off real quick. Like, oh, shit. Whew. I'm good. You got the rest Let's of these stop. bricks for you. I'm good. I'm good on that, bro. Well, you sick, man. You um, you want to read? You want to read that thing you say you want to read? read that I'm thing? gonna read into. I'm just gonna read it real briefly. I, there's a book that if you can find it, it's good. Um, it's called Behold the Pale Horse. It's a lot of theories in there. You can say theories, but this guy was uh, he was uh, ex CIA, high intelligence. I know he wrote a book. He ended up getting killed in his house. Uh, the government shot him up, killed him. The book, the book is of course published, um, but um, he had an excerpt in here that was pretty interesting. And I was looking at it, and um, I, I put it on my Facebook page. But I think Facebook, like, hey, that's one of the William Cooper things. So just don't, don't let everybody see it. I'm sure they do that to me from time to time. <laughs> um, so in the first chapter, he was talking about social engineering. So one paragraph that he said. Which kind of put me in the mind of what we got going on now. This is what it, it was a note that he had put into you know what he was saying. Remember that inflation is only the act of printing money in excess of gross national product. They could blame it on the price of widgets or oil only because you never knew the real cause. The real cause and the only cause of inflation is printing of is the printing of more money beyond the gross national product. This puts a large quantity of money into the hands of the public and maintains a balance against their greed, creates a false sense of confidence in them, and for a while stays the wolf from the door. Mm. What he's saying then is 
like all these stimulus packages and all this fake money they're giving out, telling people, hey, we're gonna give you two thousand dollars a month. Every American's gonna get two thousand dollars a month for six months. No, if you made less than one hundred thirty thousand dollars, it's bullshit. All the stimulus packages, they was giving Ruth Chris money, Harvard money. They're giving all these people money, saying they're going to pay it back. And Trump ain't going to be in office when they have to pay it back, if they have to pay it back, if they give it back, even even if they have to pay it back. And if you think that you're going to sit on your ass and collect $2,000 or $1,200 or a little stimulus check or package, it's a trap. It's to stop you. The only reason that the Bible exists in my mind is to stop the rich from robbing the to stop the poor from robbing the rich. Mm. It's a bold statement. A lot of like people ain't going to like it. My mom ain't going to like it. She goes to church. She don't go to church no more because of quarantine. But to stop. But I thought, God, no, I'm sorry. Let me stop. Let me, yeah, let me, to let me, stop. Let me. The only reason religion exists in my eyes is to stop the poor from robbing I the know rich. Them but if you can sick give right the now, poor boy. enough money to sit on. Oh. <laughs> they are sick right now. What? They, they thought they were they, they probably going through it. I know they had the extra income. Yeah, I know. But what he's saying is when they print all this money, it's just to stop you from going crazy until you get to where. Till they, till they achieve the agenda. And then when things get back to whatever the new normal is going to be, quote unquote, then uh, hopefully right now you'll be staved off. Because right now it's enough people hungry that if you don't feed them, you know, I mean, you know what wolves do when they're hungry. Yeah. Come on. I do want I to I <laughs> end with this question, though, um, to you. Because we talked, you mentioned stimulus, and I forgot I forgot about that guy. Maybe I didn't get a check. So I, I ain't got nothing yet either. I'm, still I'm, not, I'm, I'm good. I don't want to. I got the denied I'm, on the business. I don't want to from the government anyway. But I want to say this. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah, them them. Ignore out. the businesses too. Y'all, we not getting them right now. So, all right, go ahead. The um, <laughs> the, um the stimulus check, right? Mm-hmm. Now they obviously it's to stimulate, stimulate the economy. So they give you money so you can go spend money in the economy and in, in the economy so it don't go too bad, right? Uh-huh. Um, this is a theory to me. Um, anybody listening, give me your opinion on why this can't happen or can't. I don't know the, the ins and outs of this, mm-hmm. but you don't think like if you look at the the homeless people. Let's say we just take half of it, the, whatever amount we got, and you gave them money that they would st- stimulate the economy as well. So like, couldn't they been did this before? Like, like I said, man, reparations. They could, yeah. I mean, we are the poor rep- in the economy. We that's, are. That's another thing. Reparations. So the fact they, I mean, I'm not saying I want because I would want I would want more than twelve hundred dollars, but I'm willing to start twelve hundred, twelve hundred. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? Give me one now, maybe now you know five more years we talk again. I'm okay mm-hmm. with that. Every five years, give us some money. I'm, I'm okay with that. You know what I'm saying? Some tax breaks or some it's other not, shit. Be, Things they could have done. Too much, you know what I'm saying? Because you couldn't give us four years of mule. But what I'm, what I'm saying is, it just odds me that like, like, this money come poof out of nowhere. Our and it's time that they the could have been doing this. Are homeless people getting the money? It's it, I guess every, so. Action, as so. everybody on Skid Row gonna get a two thousand dollar check. It's the thing, and I said this just now that they have no address, but. I I know also, I don't know if it's a Bible thing. I don't I don't know, but when there's a will, there's a way, or whatever. Mm-hmm. If you want them to get to have the money, you will find a way for them to have the money. And if you don't want them to have the money, you'll find a way for you exactly. them to have the money. Yeah. Just like you don't really want them to be have a home, so they don't have a home. You don't you don't care. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if you want them to have one, you you take one, put them in a home. So I I just say I mean it just open your eyes to what th- what can be done and can't be done. So. When you hear things like, oh, this didn't go through, this didn't go through, and you see what's going on now, it's like, mm, it's kind of bullshit. Now, I'm going I'm to go tell the true story. I'm going to tell the real true story real quick. You know how I got my business started. It came from an unfortunate set mm-hmm. of circumstances. I got laid off. I took the severance package. I started this business. With the 401k money that I had, with a little bit I had in my 401k, I had to put that into here and build this. With a good portion of that 401k money, my wife, which I have had ups and downs with, just like everybody else does, I gave her a portion of that money and told her to start her business. She started a business. The income's coming in. Her business is in medical, mine is in construction. I can honestly say through this quarantine, ain't now want to start working. Mm-hmm. My income hasn't slowed down none. And I'm waiting for the stimulus, but I ain't got it. But it goes to my point. You got you to gotta support your own and you got to keep it in your community. Because if you're depending on a job or you're depending on somebody else for your income, and that means going to a job and clocking in. And it, I've done it for years. I ain't knocking it. But you always want to find a way for you to make income for yourself. Yeah. Because if you have to depend on the power structure, and the power structure says, fuck it, for learning all y'all, then you're stuck with a, in a position to where you got to depend on the government. They're going to give you this money, and then they're going to want something in return for yeah, that shit. Yeah, of course, yep. Right, oh, nothing hun- free. No, and the other thing that I was thinking about too, 
is this antibody thing and this immune um, immunity thing that they're talking about. What would happen if they tell black folks, look, in order to go back to work, you either have to show that you're immune, antibody, or you have to take the vaccine. If that's the new normal, how are black people going to react? Are you going to take the vaccine? You can take the test, but if they say, hey, you're not immune, you don't have antibodies, you have to take this vaccine in order to go back to work. If that's your alternative, what are you going to do? Mm, it's a tough decision right there. Yeah, it's not for me. I mean, depending It's going to be for a lot of people. Yeah, dep- that's what yeah. I'm saying. So put yourself in that position if that's the case. That's kind of conspiracy theory. It's kind of out there, but then again, it's kind of not because they're talking about that shit. But if yeah. they did do it, then your ass is going to be in a sling. And I want people to think about that and think about alternative ways to uh, invest in themselves. And that's another thing I want to say, too. The stimulus check, if they give you $1,100, $1,200, $500 per kid or whatever, right now, gas stock prices are at the lowest they've ever been. Airline prices at the lowest they've ever been. ExxonMobil's trading at $40 a share. It's another one. Another company. The 52-week high and low, if you know what that is, just saying in a year's time, what's the lowest the stock price has ever been, Mm -hmm. what's the highest it's been, one of them right now is $23. At its lowest point, you can buy it right now if you had $1,000. You can buy, I mean, you can buy, I don't know how many shares you can buy, maybe 200, 500 shares? I don't know, $20 a share? Its highest point was $640. So if you buy that $20 a share and it goes all the way back up, let's just say it doesn't get up to $640. Let's just say it gets up to $100. 120. Profit, yeah. You know how much money you done made off of the small investment by put by playing the music, playing the stock market? Right now, BP, British Petroleum, is low right now. Delta Airlines is low right now. Southwest Airlines is low right now. United Airlines is low right now. These 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 parts of the economy are gonna come back, but right now they're at an all time low because travel is restricted, mm. gas prices at all time low. They're giving you this check. Take this fucking money and invest it in the stock market. Buy you some stocks at the what? I mean, some niggas will double up on crack and won't double up on the goddamn stock market. <laughs> you can double up right now. The shit is low. Yeah, straight up. Don't go out and buy no shoes. You ain't going nowhere, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need some food. Get some food, but put the rest of that money in the stock market. Buy you some shit right now. Research some of these companies, but look at gas companies. Netflix right now is high. Also, look at solar panels. Drone companies. Look at this stuff. Just look at it, research it a little bit, and take the stimulus check, invest it in something that you can buy for the low and sell for the high. If it was dope, you'd do it. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I, <laughs> Don't I, take the chance with the dope to do it on I the stock think, market. Like, I think that's that good information for people. Yeah. That's, that's, I think that's good information for people. You know what I'm saying? I've never been the type of person to say, do this, that, and third, it, but that makes sense to do with your money. But I, I don't know major, about, I know a little bit about I don't know anybody, you know, going through, so I try not to, I don't like to feel bad for not being able to do that. But I mean, it if makes you can't sense. do it, you can't. But if you, you can, can't, but a yeah. lot of niggas gonna go out there and buy fucking rims, dog. They already did it. Crazy. They've they been doing it already. Niggas gonna go out there and buy they gonna rent Jordans. Rims. They're gonna go rent niggas rims. Niggas gonna buy new outfits and ain't got nowhere to go. Yeah, I'm like, shit, if you, ain't, if you, if you gotta use the money to provide for your children, I understand. But if you just got some money, like, nigga, I got $1,200 to blow, open up an E-Trade account, a Meritrade or something. Buy some fucking stocks and make some goddamn money. Double it up, pull your money back out, and let well, the money flip. I don't know that 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 that's that's just uh any real know. dope nigga do that shit. Any nigga who done did it, it's like, hey nigga, it's a double up. Anybody got any, any sense, they, <laughs> they, they they at least look at some yeah. things they can do. But like I said, you know, that's one of them things where it sounds too logical to do. And that's we don't do logical things in our community for some reason. Then we, we need to start. Yeah, we should. But, and buy some guns and some ammo. Yeah, niggas might turn to zombies, man. They got a guy. This ain't for zombies. <laughs> and it ain't for niggas in the street. <laughs> I'm just saying Process of All elimination right, Y'all Just uh, don't kill ourselves And don't kill no dead people Alright man Another episode All of right, Half Hour Black Power I Appreciate it bro Of we gotta, course we, gotta, of course. we see how the response is man If y'all want us to do it again We do it some more cause Hit I us up Let us know what you think about the episode Hit yeah. me on Facebook Hit me on Facebook Share the link Please share the link Share the link Share the link And we out Peace